Battlefield fans rejoice. Electronic Arts CEO Andrew Wilson just confirmed earlier today that, to no one's real surprise if we're being honest, a new Battlefield game is indeed in development. I think it's safe to say that the Battlefield franchise has been somewhat on shaky ground in recent years, with arguably the last acclaimed and wildly popular entry in the series being Battlefield 4, released all the way back in 2013. In the roughly eight years since that time, the Battlefield series has seen a somewhat disturbing decline in both quality and popularity, with more recent titles like Battlefield Hardline and Battlefield 5 being rather embarrassing flops for the series and 2016's confusingly named Battlefield 1 being rated with a largely lukewarm reception. While I do not consider myself a Battlefield fan myself, I have dipped my toes in and out of the Battlefield waters over the years enough to know what every other Battlefield player knows, that in order for the series to reclaim its public image as the prestigious and fantastical large-scale first-person war simulator, the developer DICE would do well to leave behind the confused and half-hearted attempts at political correctness seen in Battlefield 5, and instead focus on returning to their original formula, which was what had propelled them to such heights in the first place. Andrew Wilson went on to also confirm that fans can expect to see more Battlefield 6 later this spring during its official reveal, the date of which has yet to be confirmed, where, we surmise, we'll be getting a proper cinematic trailer, followed potentially by a gameplay trailer. He did tease, however, that at least a little bit more information about Battlefield 6 will be shared sometime next month, although whether that's the aforementioned Battlefield 6 event, or just something a bit less dramatic, it's not entirely clear. Either way, March will bring very good news to the Battlefield community. We did gleam a couple useful details, however. We learned that the game is expected to go beyond the up-till-now traditional 64-player limit, with Wilson crediting this advancement to the power of the PS5 and Xbox Series X. What exactly this new capacity is, I'm not sure, but I don't think it's going to be as massive an upgrade as players might think. So if you're hoping for a 64 vs 64 match, yeah, sorry, I don't think we're going to be getting that this time around. I just don't see 128 players in a single match. I do think it's possible we may see something like 50 v 50 become the norm, in other words, a grand total of 100 players. Which, in of itself, that would still be amazing. But if you're hoping for the actual numbers, you're probably going to have to wait for the official reveal. Personally, while I'm sure many people are looking forward to the bombastic PvP multiplayer game modes, I'm myself looking forward to what potentially may be another excellent single-player campaign. Although I wouldn't say no to Battlefield abandoning the usual single-player format, and instead vying for a immersive co-op-driven campaign in a more Left 4 Dead 2 fashion. Give me a good PvE campaign about a band of soldiers thrown together into impossible-to-survive scenarios, slowly forming a brotherhood. You can still tell the classic Battlefield story, but playing the campaign with your friends does add a little bit more replay value. I'd be all down for that and probably buy a copy of the game for one of my friends, if not more, to drag them along. But that's just wishful thinking on my part. Back to the news. Battlefield 6 has been confirmed to release during the later half of quarter 4 2021, which would put it basically anywhere between Thanksgiving Day and New Year's Eve. I'm anticipating that it will release sometime during the last few days of November, as the franchise is no stranger to November releases, but that's just guesswork on my part, based on the information provided. Wilson did also include various updates on other EA studios and franchises in the investor call, including BioWare, which has seen quite a bit of internal turmoil following the release and subsequent immediate demise of their long-awaited live service third-person shooter game, Anthem. BioWare is known to be actively reworking and expanding upon Anthem in the hopes of eventually relaunching it under the working title of Anthem Next. Wilson stated there was nothing to announce at that moment, but fans of Bioware should expect to hear more from them in the near future. Though when it comes to Bioware, the idea of near future should be taken with more than a degree of salt. The full investor call transcript will be listed in the video description below. It's a bit dull to read, I know, but there are a few interesting highlights in there if you're willing to skim through the rest. On that note, though, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for today. I know I'm trying something different here, I normally just stick to doing reviews and that's it, but I figured it might be fun to expand my horizons somewhat and try covering the news as well. If you like this new format, let me know in the comments down below. This is very much an experiment. If it works, I'll gladly continue making more videos like this one in the future. If you want to support the work I do in this channel, it would really mean a lot to me if you took the time to subscribe and click the bell icon to opt into getting notifications when I upload future videos. Otherwise, YouTube will not always tell you when I upload, and that's a big problem. 
YouTube makes it really hard for smaller channels like mine to grow, so the more people that opt in to get said notifications, the better it is for the long-term success of this channel. This is Warrior Dan signing out. Stay awesome, everybody. Stay safe and peace out.